Hey, this is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of the creditrepairshop.com. In this video here, I want to show you how to beware of debt collectors trying to make you pay a debt that you don't have to pay. This is very, very, very serious because if this uh, individual who is a client of ours did not send us this letter, they potentially could have reset this debt for $23,412.63. This is an American Express credit card that was not paid. Now, we're not going to get into what happened to where the person couldn't pay, uh, but we're going to talk about uh, statute of limitations for legally collecting a debt. Every state is different. If you don't know what the statute of limitations for collecting a debt legally from you, go to my website. The links are below here. Go to my blog, type in statute of limitations, and you can see what the statute of limitations for collecting uh, a debt in your state is. Now, uh, before I get into the letter, I want, want to make clear because a lot of people uh, fall for this. Uh, millions of dollars are collected by debt collectors who, who fake people into paying debts that are past the statute of limitations. So now, if you get a letter like this, or you get a letter similar to this from a debt collector, I want you to pay attention to things. Pay attention because this debt collector, the My Advantage FSA company, is going to try to come after this first advantage, first source, source advantage LLC is going to try to come after this individual for the debt, and we will be ready and waiting for them. We will also be very proactive with them uh, if they try to do anything to try to come after this debt because it's past statute of limitations. But there was we did a debt validation to, because this uh, information was on the individual's credit report and we wanted to see what the original creditor's plans were to do with it. And this is the letter that they sent back. It says, American Express requires that we inform you that the law limits how long you can be sued on a debt because of the age of your debt. American Express will not sue you for it. Now, this is the trap that people can fall into, is that if someone gets a letter from a debt collector in this, uh, in this uh, 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 example here, uh, is First Source Advantage LLC, and, and you're contacted about a debt that's $23,412.63, and you know you had old American Express for it, now debt collector has purchased that debt, and you get afraid, you get emotional, you get uh, maybe threats that they're going to garnish and sue you, all types of things, and you pay a small payment just to get them off your back. You've just reset the time frame that they can sue you for that debt. You've just done a reset. Now, with this here, American Express is informing this individual that the time frame it says it right here. Because of, of the age of your debt, in other words, because of the statute of limitations, but they don't want to really say that here because they transferred it, quote, sold it to First Source Advantage LLC. And First Source Advantage LLC might get a little upset that you're telling them you know, you don't have to pay that debt that First Source Advantage LLC purchased from us. This means because of the age of your debt, American Express will not sue you for it. Basically, what that means is the statute of limitations ran out on this debt and we can't legally come after you for the money. Now, what I've seen from companies like this First Source Advantage LLC, they'll send a letter demanding payment for this 
$412.63. And then uh, they will state in that letter, it'll just be where you can do uh, dispute the uh, either part, some, but they're not going to state that they're coming after you for a debt that's past statute of limitations. What they will probably state in there because they legally have to notify you in some way, but they don't have to use the words that are written in the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, which is time barred. Or they might even say time barred. We are trying to collect a time barred debt. How many of you know what a time barred debt is? A time barred debt is a debt that's passed the legal statute of limitations to collect in your state, which means you do not have to pay it. But they'll throw in this, you have a moral reason to pay it. You have a moral obligation, even though we can't make you pay it, you have a moral obligation. Please pay this debt. They will actually say that. Then also when you call in and you tell them, uh, you know, like say you answer the, your phone and then it's them on the other line and they say, are you so-and-so? Uh, we are collecting the, the uh, uh, Ameri previ your previous American Express bill has been assigned to us or transferred to us to collect and we want to notify you that this debt is past the time barred and we would like to help you out and move forward in setting up a payment arrangement for you to pay this debt they've actually notified you that this is a debt that you don't have to pay legally but we're gonna help you get uh this debt taken care of and maybe we'll offer you this low ball settlement for debt that you legally don't have to pay. This is the way that they do it. So you have to be very careful. This is the way that they do it. We've uh, heard calls from debt collectors where they would use different terminology to say basically the debt is past statute of limitations for you to legally have to pay it. So beware of getting letters like this. If you send a letter to the original creditor of a debt that's been that's been on your credit for a long time, you know that it could potentially be past statute of limitations. Again, go to my website, thecreditrepairshop.com to see if it's past the legal statute of limitations to collect. And then you can send that debt validation to the original creditor and you'll put, potentially get a letter just like this one. And you can be proactive when that debt collector tries to come after you for a debt. All right, I'm going to end the video here. This is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of thecreditrepairshop.com. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Post your comments and questions. Re more resource links are below this video. Thank you.